Hello, everybody. It is Ryan. And Jonathan. And welcome back to episode 28 for Let's Go the City. If you guys remember the last episode, I've been working on my uh, um, scaled down version of the Willis slash Sears Tower located in Chicago of the United States of America. And we've mainly been doing the exterior. If you guys remember the last episode, we finished up with the exterior as well as finished up with the base. And off camera, I also finished up with some more of the base, and I also dug out the floor on the inside. If we go down here, you can see I already dug out some of the floor, and uh, I'm already planning out some of the elevators. Like, this is the elevator that will lead up to the sky deck, and pretty much some other stuff like that. So, yeah, what about you, Jonathan? What have you been working on? So, in the last episode, I started building a Starbucks. And uh, so, I got the uh, mo most of the outside done in the video, but I also did some... Um, some off-camera work so I put in this little patio with some uh, picnic tables and umbrellas and then as you can see there's a uh, bucks over here and then a star uh, on this side and together they make Starbucks so you know I thought that was a pretty nice. pretty yeah. pretty clever idea so uh, yeah today we're gonna be working on the inside so we have a whole lot of space in here and I actually have a pretty good idea of what I want to do so, as you may know, a lot of people will go to Starbucks or, like, other coffee coffee shops, like, get some work done, you know, grab a cup of coffee and then come up here to, uh, to do some work. So, I was thinking I was going to build, like, a loft around the upper part of the uh, Starbucks. And then there are these windows up here, and uh, I was thinking there could be, like, a table or something, you know, right there that you could sit at and look, at the, look out the window as you're working, you know. So, that was kind of my thought oh, nice, for what I was nice, going to do. Nice, That seems nice. Yep. So, I, mean, so, I think I'll pro I'll probably finish it in this episode. If I don't, I'll probably finish it off camera. Uh, yeah. All right. So basically, as far as what I'm doing in this episode, oh, oops, I messed up right here. What I'm doing right now is I'm placing some lights in for where the sky deck elevator is because this elevator is a one-way trip from the bottom floor to the top. I want to make sure there's plenty of light in here. So that's what I'm doing right now. Right now, the pretty much, I mean, you guys can see, like, whenever I build skyscrapers, this is kind of the step-by-step -step process I go through. I first lay out where my elevators are going to go, as you can see, is what I'm doing right now. I'm laying out where my elevators are going. And then, once I have my elevators, I start planning out each floor one by one. So I also, I also usually make room for some bathrooms, because I like to put bathrooms on each floor, because that's realistic. Um... And then I kind of start filling in the floors and filling in the stuff from there. So, yeah, that's kind of a little, awesome. uh, oh, oops, I messed up. Also awesome. Wait a minute, I messed up, I messed up. I messed up somewhere. Yeah, I messed up here. I only did two blocks, not three. There we go. So, uh, yeah. And then... So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that... If I could have my way, in this episode, I would like to finish the base, which is kind of like, in this building, it's kind of like a middle, like right now they're designing a new base for the building that's going to be kind of like a mini shopping mall in the sense that there's going to be stores, restaurants, etc. I'm obviously not going to be able to fit a lot in my scaled down version, but I am going to put some stuff like that on the first floor. I'm also going to obviously have a lobby and whatnot, so yeah, that's pretty, much the, awesome. that's pretty much the plan for the first floor. Um... And then, uh, and then, uh, so the first and second floor are gonna be like that, and then floors three through twenty-nine are gonna be office space, and then floor thirty, the top floor, I'm saving for the sky deck, just like in the real building. So yeah, I'm kind of just doing a scaled-down version of the real building's interior. I mean, obviously, I won't be able to build the interior to its exact like, like exactly one-to-one -one because Minecraft, the limitations of Minecraft, and all that. And plus, I have to kind of redesign the building to fit all city needs, but yeah. I'll do the best I can with Minecraft and what I've got, so... Yeah, that's I, what I'm hoping I do. Grateful so what for I'm, what you have. Yep, so what I'm hoping... So anyway, like I was saying, what I'm hoping I can do is finish... I'm hoping to finish the base, as well as hopefully some of the office floors on camera, and then, and then I was planning to hopefully finish the office floors off camera. It's because obviously the office floors are pretty much the same thing over and over, and then it changes ever so slightly once the tiers of each building end. So, uh, yeah. Yep. So, uh, and then, and then, so I'm hoping pretty much to get most of the interior done on camera, and then do the repetitive stuff off camera so that 
next episode, I can kind of give you a tour of the building of everything I built, and then move on to another project. So, yeah. As um, my first grade teacher would say, awesome sauce. <laughs> yeah, I don't even, well, I don't even remember if I had a teacher that said that. <laughs> <laughs> Who, actually, you, you went to Linden Hill, right? Yeah, I did. Who At least, your... well, I went to Linden Hill for my first two years. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because then you, because then the whole switch thing, you went to Cook. Yeah. Whereas I, yeah. I mean, I, I finished Linden Hill before that happened, so I finished Elementary School yeah. before all that happened, so mm -hmm. I still have, uh, yeah. So, oh, oops. Alrighty, and then so yeah, I'm planning now. I'm planning out the elevators now, guys. So I know this is all gonna look very, very weird and probably bad at first, but trust me. I have it all planned out. Can you make it uh, daytime? Oh yeah, sorry about that. I have night vision potions so I can see inside my building, so I actually yeah. it's hard for me to tell when uh, it turns dark when I have the night vision potion. Alrighty, yeah. and then so right here, this is gonna be the main elevator that goes across all the floors and then in here, this over here is the sky deck elevator which only accesses the top floors, so yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of the design I'm going for with this building, as I'm sure you guys can tell, so... Alright, let's go ahead and fill in these elevators, and then we just have one more thing to do, and then I'm ready to move on. From the elevators. A.K.A. ladders, because that's the limitations of Minecraft. So I'm kind of, because this building is an even number, I kind of have to change some things around, so I have to do a double wide elevator. Which I guess is fine, that means more people can go up and down at a time, which is cool. Alrighty, there we go, and then the last thing I want to do is right here, I want to have... I want to have this come all the way up to... Actually, I don't think I'm gonna do this, cause I don't think I'm gonna have the- Actually, I will do this on the first floor, the first two floors, cause, yeah, but... Ah, okay, I'll have this go up to here. Alrighty, so there we go, that's, uh... So that's the basic elevator lobby design, so now let's start planning out the lobby, so... What block do I want to use for the floor? Uh, I'm going to use... Actually, I'm going to use quartz, because quartz... There is uh, The floor in the main building is kind of white, so... I guess I'll start mm -hmm. with quartz. Alrighty. I want to explain to us, Jonathan, how you're doing your... Uh... Yeah, sure. So, I am... Like I said, I was kind of going to make like a loft kind of thing, and it's kind of like a giant ring around the top portion of the thing, and then I'm going to make these little like, um, like almost coffee table type kind of things here, um, like these long stretches of tables, um, I'm building them right now, you can't see them, Ryan, but yeah. they kind of look like this, the and, audience um, audience can see you, so yeah, yeah. they can see you. So it's kind of like that, kind of, um. Or actually, I might. Can I use a pressure plate? Hmm. I wanna, what if I use like oak or something? Yeah, that's good. So one, two, do, 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 like that. So the, there, there are these like little little stools that you can like chill on and do your work here too. All right, makes sense. Uh... Entrance, I'm gonna leave a gap there for the staircase that leads down to that will lead because the I'll have the sky deck elevator entrance in a basement and then I'll have yeah you guys will see I'll go ahead I'm not gonna be, I'll, I'll probably build the sky deck off camera but yeah I'll, I will uh, place down some the stairs for you that lead down there so there we go I'll do that Unfortunately, because this is a super flat ward, I can't make the basement super deep, which does kind of suck, but oh well. Uh, and then let me get 
some glass blocks, I guess. I'll get some normal glass blocks and do that. These steps will lead down to the Skydeck engine. So there we go. Alrighty, and then. shops and whatnot, maybe a part of duty free shop, as well as, uh, some, you know, some, uh, maybe, uh, maybe in one Wait, corner. Wait, did you say, did you say, did you say you wanted to put a duty free shop? Duty free shop, that just means, like, that just means, I like, sure hope it's duty free. I wouldn't want any duty in my shop. Not that. It's not that <laughs> kind of duty. That's not what, that's not what that means, Jonathan. <laughs> Alright, so that's this is gonna be like the main floor. So what I'm gonna have so let's get some light in here just so that let's get some torches and let's place some torches around here just so that we have some light in here. So we kind of have this top loft area here where we have, you know, this little uh, like coffee table kind of thing and these little high top little things. And now though, I think it's time to build the um, like the kitchen part, which is going to be, it's going to be a pretty simple design overall, you know, front desk, coffee maker, that sort of thing. So I think if I'm gonna take this right here like that it's gonna be like that and we'll, we can delete these here and then if we take what is this an end rod yep huh, I know my minecraft <laughs> break like that mind. just like that and then put that like that and then take this, this, and place this like that, then it's like that, and Ryan has no idea what I'm saying. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch your screen. Although I might come take a look at what you've been building, just like, because like what we like to do is every now and then, Jonathan and I will take a look at what each, what we, what the other person's building. Mm -hmm. Or the progress that we're making, as you guys have seen, because 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 we're doing the whole so social distancing thing, instead of being in the same room playing on the same switch, we're actually playing on our own switches. And yeah, all right. So and of course, Jonathan. Now it's Jonathan's turn to suffer because he can't see what I'm doing now. So basically, as you can see, I have some little security things like 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 this, like we have in some of our other buildings, and then I also have a security desk. And all right, Jonathan, this is where I'm actually going to need your help. So, I have, okay, give me a I have three areas to build a, uh, I have three areas to build, um, a shop, to build either shops or restaurants for, like, the kind of mall part of the building. So, the question is, I'm thinking, I have one big area and two small areas. In the big area, I was thinking about building, like, a nicer restaurant, so I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do in the bigger area, but in the smaller areas... I'm thinking to put a fast food restaurant in one of them and a duty free shop in the other. What fast okay. food restaurant do you think I should do? I know we already have a Chick fil A, Ooh. a McDonald's, um, a Starbucks, which you're working on right now. So, what fast food mm -hmm. do you think I should put in one of these corners? Um, I think that we need a Wendy's. A Wendy's? Yeah. 
Do you know what Wendy's is? Yeah, I know what that is. Okay. Uh, you, you said it like you said it like you didn't know what it oh, is. Oh, I know like, what it is. Not... Um, that or that or an Arby's. How about Panera? Okay. I, I see. I feel see, I feel here's... like I feel like a Panera would be better in this kind of a building, like in an office building. Yeah. Like adults oh, yeah. are probably gonna rather have a Panera than than a Wendy's. I know. Yeah. yeah. Right, right now, right now though, I'll, I'll think about it a little bit more. But so, but right now, I'm working on the duty free shop since I already know what that's obviously about. <laughs> you see, every single time you say that, Ryan, I giggle on the inside. Oh, and I don't mean that kind of duty, okay? Alrighty, alright. So let's just go ahead. I guess I don't really know how to do this other than put some bookshelves to act as like some different shelves and whatnot. So I'm just gonna do that, I guess. Put a shelf right here. Uh, put another one right there. And uh, actually, I'll move this one over a little bit. There you go. That'll be my duty free shop. Just some shelves so you can go and pick up something and pay for it at a self service kiosk. Actually, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to put, put self service kiosks on either side. Oh, yeah, actually. You know how. um. Like in some Starbucks, they'll have like a little display case of food that you can get. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna make that. Cool. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Oh, it's turning. Is it turning dark? It looks like my night vision just died out. It looks like it's turning dark. So. Yeah. The good news is that I already have. So I'm gonna have some lighting in my building, so I can now. Kind of. Yeah, I have lighting in my building ours. as well. So right now I'm building like this is right here is like the little like I guess the. Actually, I'm not gonna use. That's too bright. I'll use like a. Stone brick stair as the cashier thing. So there you go. There's like the little self service kiosk where you can pay for your stuff at the duty free shop. And I'll put one right there as well. So, alright, there's the <laughs> nice little. I know, Jonathan. I know. <laughs> alright, so there's that nice little duty free shop. So, alright. Uh, I guess next. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. <laughs> alrighty, next up, let's do a Panera. Now, I know in Panera, the floor is more usually more of like a. I don't. I, I should probably use a carpet in the Panera because most Paneras have like a carpet in them. They have like a wooden floor where you check out, so I'll probably use like an oak wood for like where you order. So maybe I'll make this section right here the section that you order food. So I'll put. I'll do that like this, and then so so right here will be where you order, and then where you eat. I'll just use some. Uh, I'll use some, uh, some gray wool for the floor when you eat. Actually, let's, uh, do that. And so far, it looks like I'm actually making some good timing. So, all right, for the checkout desk at Paneo, I'm gonna do something like this. And then I'll put, uh, I'm gonna need a crafting table, some furnaces, a sink, and a chest is probably good enough to act as my little mini, as that little mini kitchen in a Panera. So, let's see, I'll put that there, I need a lever. I know this is gonna sound weird, Jonathan, but you probably you should make sure you have a bathroom in your uh, in your Starbucks so that people, if they need to do that. Actually, mo most Starbucks don't have bathrooms in them. True, but well, the one that you build is a decent size, so you probably should build one, honestly. Yeah, I, I can put one in. It's okay. You can do it off camera if you, if you don't want to show it on camera. Mm -hmm. I can understand why you'd want to do that. Okay, where are uh, trying to look for? Uh, we are, uh, oh, there they are. There are chests. Alright, so there, there's a little, uh, and then I'll kind of put some glass panes to kind of represent the little display areas in Panera. Panera's where they display, like, the baked goods. There we go. And then I'll put, like, little glass things right there, so symbolize where you line up to order. And then I'll put some nice tables and chairs over here. Some, uh, where are pressure plates? Here they are. For the tabletops. There we go. Let's go ahead and put a nice 
nice little table right there, and another nice little table over here. Like that, and then I'll put a smaller table right here. Actually, let me do it like this. There we go, and then actually what I should probably do is I should probably put some signs down that say that this is a Panera, so that people know it's not just some random, like, cafe area. So I'll put a... Alright, let me... I'm gonna add some seating here as well, because every good coffee shop needs good seating, in my opinion. Let me grab a slab. Oh, did you hear that, Ryan? What? Let me... Let me grab a slab. Oh, ha, 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 ha. So funny, Jonathan. And of course, I'm not even going to say it so that you don't have to giggle out loud, but I'm putting down a sign for the other thing I made as well. <laughs> thing to do on this floor is the nice is a nice restaurant over here so for the nice restaurant I am going to use some dark oak planks for the floor because dark oak planks is usually like what you find as the floor in a nice fancy restaurant or like a dark oak wood is usually like the floor I don't know what to call this restaurant maybe I'll do cafe de appetite no, it's, it's not a cafe, it's a... What's like, oh. a, what's like a, like, I don't know, I need something like a... I don't know, it, it should be like a French thing. A French thing? Um... <laughs> like, like, what is the French word for food? I, Hold on, I, wait, wait. You can look Alexa, what's the French word for food? Food, in French is... Oh, you have an Alexa? Here, I'll, I'll ask my Google Home. The competition bring it up. Okay, Google. What is the French word for food? My, my Alexa told me, so... In French, that's... Animal. Animal what? A al animal? Yeah, animal. That, that's what you should... You should... Hold on, wait, animo's, wait. I'm gonna look... How about Animo Steakhouse? Animo Steakhouse. How about that? That's it. That's okay. actually not a half bad name. Al Alamos, yeah, that's cool. That's, all right. All right, I'll, I'll have to look up how to spell that because I don't know how to spell that. But yeah, sorry if there's any uh, French people watching. I do not know how to spell that. <laughs> French people watching, like that's all wrong. <laughs> well, you are so wrong. Well, I'm sorry. That's what my Google Home told me, and and your Amazon Alexa. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Put some more torches around here so we have some light. I need light. Let there be light. <laughs> let, 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 let there be light. Okay, well, there's a stupid bad here. I, I'm, I, I think I might, the bats are getting on my nose, so I might have to, uh... Oh, and I have a cool idea for how I can do booths for this restaurant, so I need to get some, uh... To get some dark oak. And some leaves. And I actually need to get my pressure plates back. I lost my pressure plates somehow. Hey Ryan, Damn I'm building man. a bathroom. Ah, nice. Totally something your viewers are gonna want to see. Oh, I need. I, never mind. I have pressure plates. I need. A Not my viewers, Ryan. Our viewers. Our viewers. <laughs> True. True. That is. Already so making some nice little booths. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. Where are the tripwire hooks? Are there? Yeah. Boom, there's the sink. And this will be a and nice little corner booth. Oh, right? a little trap door for the toilet. This will be a nice corner booth right here. Like this. Oh, are they in? Oh, they are building blocks. And 
then there's the toilet seat. Boom, boom. All right, awesome. We do have a bathroom. Put a little sign up that says oh, rest thank room because you can rest bathroom. in that room. Ooh, I don't know if we could have survived without a bathroom, Ryan. I know. Thank goodness that it's all that bathroom. That dawn bathroom. Saving the day. Alrighty, and then actually need to kind of help isolate the restaurant from the security desk over there. I'm gonna put some, put a nice wall like this up here with some, using my greenery. Please wait to be seated sign will go right there. And then on this side of the restaurant, I'll probably build a nice... I'll, I'm going to be build a bar. This will be like a, a steakhouse and a bar. So then on this side, I'll have like a, a sign for the bar, which will go right here. So I'll put the bar right here. Alrighty, I think that we are done. With what? Ooh, wait, I'm going to add just some... Um... A little bit of a uh, little bit of fancy smancy stuff on the outside fancy, here. Smancy. But after that, I think that we are done with uh, the Starbucks. Already cool. Uh, I still have some more stuff to do with this, so this will be like the. It is. It is starting to turn into night, though, Ryan. Just so that okay. you know. Okay. I'll I'll set it today in just a sec. Let me just finish up with the little bar slash kitchen of my restaurant. That is kind of important. It's actually, like, the more I'm building this office building, this is an office building I want to work at. There's all these nice restaurants on the first floor. Yeah. <laughs> I want to work here. So, have you decided what the office building is going to be yet? Or? It's going to be, or to, in real life, the building is not owned to one, but many corporations use it. So, that's oh, okay. the same thing in this one. So. So yeah, so there's be multiple corporations in this building. So then what do you think what corporations are going to be there? I don't know. I'm maybe just think of like some modern day corporations will probably use the space. All right. Cuz yeah, not every building is owned by one business or owned by one tenant. Uh, yeah. Where is oh, levels? I cannot find le Oh, there they are. <laughs> as soon as I say I can't find something, I find it. There we go. I can't find a million dollars. Oh. It didn't work. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, now let me get right. back out my... Uh, let me get back out my stuff that I was using for my tables. I need Stop. My... Joy-Con drift. Oh, my gosh. I can't <laughs> click T. Remember, you need, to, you need to use the Western accent there. Yeah. Alright, remember, come on, let's let's hear uh, it. Let's hear it. Let's hear your western no, accent. Stop. All right. Dracon drift. What are you doing? Dracon drift. You better stop what you're doing. I'm trying to write Starbucks right here on this side, and you are not helping. Hey. <laughs> and oh, why does it have to rain? Get, go away. Nobody likes rain. Why is there even rain in this game? I mean, I get it's realistic, but nobody likes. It. Literally everybody on YouTube who has a Let's Play series hates rain. In Minecraft. So why does it have to exist? Oh, and I think this works. Oh, it doesn't work out perfectly. Oh, well. All right, and then right here, I'll make this like the little area where the waiters can uh, fill your drinks, I guess. I'll do that over here. So I'll put like two brewing stands over here for that. And I'll Alrighty, about... I think we are done. Alrighty. If you want, Ryan, you can come on over and check I'll out my, look, uh, and my Starbucks. Are, it looks like we're starting to reach the end of this episode, unfortunately, so yeah, I'll come and take a look. Just let me finish my restaurant real quick. Where are brewing stands? They're in the same spot as the bed. I literally can't find them. Oh, there they are. I keep, I, I forgot that they, they changed mm -hmm. the icon a little bit. I think that's why I was having trouble finding it. There we go. And then There's a bat in here. Oh, oops, and then let's put some brewing stands. Are you in my building right now? Yeah, I am. There we go, let's put some brewing stands in there. So what do you think of the lobby so far? I mean, it's it, it's not much right now, because I'm not done, but... <laughs> oh my gosh, my gosh, you, the whole... 
This is the restaurant over here, by the way. Where it's right here? Yeah. It's more of like a little bar. Oh, wait, there is a stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 this I, is like, so cool. I like the design with the leaves. This is like a design I've been using a lot of my buildings for restaurants. Yeah. So, and then this is a security desk. There's the, this will be the elevator over here. And then mm -hmm. the sky deck will be down. You go down these steps for the observation deck eventually. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, all right, let's go ahead and check Wait, out. how do you go down to go up? Because the entrance to the sky deck elevator is, it will be downstairs. Just like it is okay. in the real building. All right. So that's what do you think? You like it? Yeah, right, let's looks go ahead, really... let's go ahead and check out your Starbucks now. Close the doors behind you if you don't mind. Okie dokie. And let's take a look at your Starbucks. Alrighty, it looks pretty nice. I like oh I see, so you have a nice outdoor seating, I like that. Um mm -hmm. I love the design. I actually really like this design you did on the outside. Thank you. All right, let's go inside. Nice sign on the front saying Starbucks, and uh, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, so you got the. Are these supposed to represent like where you like wait in line, like that? Yeah, it's like the. And then look, there's a little si enter sign where you can go in, uh, okay. order, and then. Okay. You, yeah. you should put some ovens and stuff over there. Oh yeah, hold on. I, I'm gonna do that right now. And then uh, what's up? Let me see what's upstairs. Okay, you got some nice uh. Okay, I see what you did there. Oh, yeah. I like it. Alright, yeah, let me think, my only advice would be try and fill the space up a little bit more. But other than that, it's okay. pretty cool. Perfect. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, guys, um, unfortunately, um, I know it is, we all kind of just a tiny bit short, but because Jonathan's pretty much finished up with his, uh, Starbucks, um, we are pretty much done for, uh, this episode, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rest of the interior off camera because it's gonna be a lot of repetition for my skyscraper, and then and then in the next episode I'll give you a tour of it, and then yeah, and then uh, so uh, yeah, and then um, Jonathan has just finished up his Starbucks. Jonathan might probably keep himself busy. He might do another project. He might do a little project off camera, kind of like how I built the Ritz Carlton buildings off camera and never included yeah. them in the series. So. Yeah, Jonathan might start a little pro side project, and maybe in the next episode we'll both give you tours. I'll give you a tour of my skyscraper, and Jonathan can give you a tour of whatever side project he does. So, yeah, anyway guys, we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye!